Working overtime? No thanks. Late night emails? Ignore those. Pick up an extra project to get ahead? Hard pass. He decided to see if this type of panic had cropped up in the past. You know, I just looked through some of the old newspaper archives. Basically, every U.S. state has their own statewide archive. California has a particularly nice one. Here's some of what he found from the Germantown News in Tennessee in 2014. What happened to the work ethic in America? Nobody wants to work anymore. When I first started to work as a teenager, I saw people work hard. And another from the St. Petersburg's Times in Florida, 1999. Nobody wants to work anymore, Cecil, a shoemaker, said. They all want to work in front of a computer and make lots of money. The News Journal in Ohio, 1979. Nobody wants to work anymore. Signed, a disgusted businessman. I'm going to skip past a bunch of examples from the 60s, 50s, 40s, and 30s and go to 1922, the Mulberry News. What is the cause of unemployment and hard times? The manufacturer and businessmen say it's because nobody wants to work anymore unless they can be paid enough wages to work half of the time and loaf half of the time. All right, let's do one more. 1894, Rooks County Record. With all the minds of this country shut down by strikers, what will the poor editor do for coal next winter? It is becoming apparent that nobody wants to work these hard times. Ferry put all of these examples in a Twitter thread that went super viral over the summer. Over 300,000 people liked his tweets. It really seemed to strike a nerve. When you see people complained about it every decade for 120 years, it's probably less to do with, you know, current context and more to do with kind of bigger systems. I'm looking at the pattern of articles that you have selected, which is by no means a scientific oh, yeah, study. Yeah, yeah. No, no. But what I do see is the media allowing the employer to set a narrative over and over and over. 